Well, isn't that nice? Hello, everybody. It is Joe here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Coast series. Today, we are down near Tampool, and uh, we're down near what we'd seen here last time, which is uh, quite a few industries together, which really do uh, kind of give the potential for quite a bit of goods moving in and around uh, the city of Tampool. Now, what we're going to do is that uh, we are, of course, going to be working on getting some fuel over to, where is it? Hang on, hang on. Uh, over to Penstow by sea. We're delivering bricks and we are delivering food. But we do still need to deliver fuel. So I'm going to be making sure that we get some fuel production going on here down at Temple and we also get uh, that fuel over to Penstow. There we go. Uh, so do stick around because it's going to be a great episode as per usual. And now let's go for some freight buildings, 320 metres, and uh, should go with six platforms. I think six platforms is uh, is a good amount of platforms. We're going to shove that here. Uh, oh no, hang on. We don't appear to be able to... Oh, there we go. Right, hang on, hang on a second, right. You, why do you not pick pick you up as an industry? Why Why is that happening? Hang on, right, we, we just need to do a bit of modification here, obviously, because it's it's not picking up that this is a road. Uh, it's not connecting the industry to the road, sorry, there we go, so we're going to connect you to there. Why are you not connecting? You are connecting, right, there we go. Uh, there we go, no, not quite, there we go. Right, so you, if I connect you all up should be uh, a lot better. Right, hang on. Connect you to that. It's a bit of a funny looking road, I'm not going to lie, but uh, it's functional. Oh, the town did it for me. Fair dues. Right, now, uh, let's get that on there. There we go, they're all connected now. Now, I'm using the six tracks purely and simply because... Oh, hang on, am I... Uh, I'm not doing this right, am I? I'm terrible. Right, delete that. Needs to be high speed so it fits in with the rest of the track uh, from what we've been using. There we go, keep that like that. Uh, I'm using six tracks because again, we've got the potential for brick production and food production as well. So we don't want to limit ourselves with how much we've got going on here. Now, uh, we've got a couple of coal, uh, you know, situation up here. Uh, a couple of coal development places, some call them coal mines. Uh, coal development places, call them Joe. Um, I think that we are going to be able to bring that down by lorry. That's my method in thinking there, and I'm sticking to it. So what we're going to do is, uh, as much as I would like to bring coal down by train, I think the uh, the amazing coal that we've got at the minute, uh, the amazing trucks, sorry, that we've got available to us, it would be a crime to uh, to put all that infrastructure for rail in when, uh, when we could just use... A road. There we go. Uh, so that's going off the edge of the map. I like how he's done that. Uh, it's a shame it's not like City Skylines where cars can come in from the other end, of the, you know, from off the edge of the map. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to send you across there. Oh, there we go. We'll also build you down there and round because I think you look quite nice, don't you? You will look nice as a proper road. We'll just build you all the way up. Oh, hang on. This is this is turning into like a massive like road building marathon. There we go. Uh, and I think you're already... Uh, a, yeah, you're already a fine specimen of a road. There we go. So the, uh, the road upgrade in the south has been completed. Yeah, brilliant. And uh, I can't help but notice... Excuse me. Uh, I can't help but notice that I've actually deleted the road to uh, to make way for uh, for one of our railway lines. I must apologise. I've uh, I've gone and got myself another flipping cold. Uh, it's not COVID. I've done a test, uh, but I'm not convinced because I've still got all the flipping symptoms. Uh, so I'm gonna I, I keep testing to make sure that it's not. But uh, yeah, it might just be a cold. But I feel absolutely horrendous. Uh, what we're gonna do? I reckon. No, oh, look, there's another uh, another class 67 there. That was such a good buy in the last episode. Thank you for whoever suggested to uh, to make 
or to put the class 67s on this route. I can't remember to tell you the truth who suggested it, but it was such a great suggestion. I love having the class 67. I don't really rate them in real life, the skips. Um, you know, I prefer to have the... I, I don't think they're bad for passenger, but I just prefer like a, uh, a class 66 when it comes to freight. But uh, but yeah, I'm really, really glad that we put that in because it's, it's fantastic and they sound so good, don't they? Uh, have we got any... Oh dear, we've got a, a bit of a dodgy... Bit of a dodgy uh, hill there. Hang on. Right, let's just pause it. Because we can neaten out that track, can't we? There we go. What speed are we using? Uh, let's go in here. And uh, speed. We're using 75. That's fine. Can't remember. It's that long since we built the flipping thing. What's that looking like? Uh, are you looking vaguely... Oh, you're not. Why Why are you not looking nice? There we go. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just drag you to there. How does that look? No! Oh, it looks even worse. Why does that look so bad? I'd just quite like you to be flat. Well, not flat, but, you know, less hideous. What about that? Oh, I, I just don't want the step there. I don't think we're going to get away with it, to be honest with you. <clears throat> we might just have to put up with that. Nah, do you know what? We can, we can tidy that up as well. There we go. Tidy it straight up. How are you looking? Um, better. Not perfect, but better. We strive for, uh, we don't strive for perfection on this channel, do we? Anyone that's been here long enough will know that for a fact. Uh, we strive for functionality, uh, and occasionally we make things look quite pretty. Uh, but we do strive mainly for, uh, for things to be functional. There we go. Uh, and uh, it's quite ironic, actually, because so often things turn out not to be functional in the slightest. Buildings. Let's get a truck of some sort in. Um, you're not a lover of that, are you? Um, right, okay. How about if I be clever with this? Uh, hang on, one way street. 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 There we go. Bit of one wayage. Ah, you like that, don't you? Now. You there. What are you, uh, what do you think to that? You're quite away from the station. Oh, I don't like that at all. There we go. But you can get all three industries and the station, and it means we can fit you there, because otherwise we'd be squashing you in between the two, wouldn't we? And that would look silly. Absolutely fella. So, let's get a, uh, there we go. I'm going to get that smoothed out a bit so it looks less hideous. I mean, I'm not going to go as far as to say it looks nice. It just looks less hideous. And you smoothed as well around the edge there. Oh, that looks terrible. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get rid of you. Yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. Right, okay. Uh, so, let's get our coal mine, uh, our coal trucks going first. So, we need to go... How many do you reckon? Do you reckon about ten on there? Tampool. Down to there, so that will be Tampool Coal Trucks. And uh, we make use of our delightful one-way system. Oh, the auto save is here. Hello to you. Nearly ten minutes in before uh, before you popped up. Righty out. let's get some coal trucks. I'm feeling something articulated and big. There we go, Scania Rigid is not articulated the scania r series there we go what about that i mean you're not quite as large as i was kind of hoping for behave yourself um what about that van deal and transport you're not brilliant what about the man uh yeah you can't carry coal you're a bit small i was kind of hoping for like a big big hopper wagon you know what i mean company brand yeah, all the all the tipper wagons seem to be really small, don't they? I mean, we're not using Ford Transit Connects, absolutely not. Right, well, the Scania tipper it is, because uh, we quite like the Scania tipper, don't we? I think it's a very good-looking lorry. 
Right, there we go. Temple coal trucks. Let's get them going. Oh, they sound brilliant, don't they? Look at that. They look so good. And do you know what? We're gonna we're gonna colour all these on this line. Manage vehicles because uh, you very rarely see them as blue, don't you? Let's uh, let's go for a nice white. A brilliant white because uh, white is an ideal colour uh, for a lorry that's transporting coal. Uh, yeah, I can't see why that would get dirty at all in the slightest ever. Dot com. Uh, right. So thirty. A uh, bit of 30 mile an hour track. Now, what route were we taking? I think we're coming down here, up here. Did, did we suss this out across here, up there? Yeah, that's that's quite a long way, quite a lengthy way indeed for our fuel train. But it is the way that needs to be done. So, uh, we are going to bring you out here. We're going to keep you as flat if we can, with a bit of a cutting. Right, okay. Uh, I don't know where we're sending you. I, I don't really know where we're going with this. Sorry, I put in this like really exciting big station and actually I don't know where I'm going with it. What's that going to look like? Absolutely revolting is, uh, is the answer to that question. <coughs> Excuse me. My sincerest of apologies there. Uh, right, so if we squeeze you in there, right to the end, there we go, and can we drag you across yet, yeah, just about, and if we just drag you across there, that's looking good, so you're going in there, you can go around there. Oh, this is this is looking brilliant. We could cross you over there as well. And we could cross you over there. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Never mind. Right, okay. And then we could cross you over. And you over. There we go. That is uh, that is a brilliant looking station, which is going to be functional. Oh, look, GMPTE. Hello. Little 150 rumbling past. Uh, right, we're going to go for 60. Now, let's be honest, going up this hill, I have absolutely no, like, worries that our trains will break the speed limit. We could put it at 125 and they'd never get to it. Oh, I just don't quite like this. It's not catching the land. I mean, this is quite terrible. It's a gorge that we're building. This is just... I mean, I don't know quite what's going to happen if we smooth the landscape out. No, I didn't want a tunnel. I'd like to be abundantly... Oh, hang on. What we could do... Oh, no, 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 no. Right, let's just get rid of Umbutu Gorge. There we go. The Tampool Gorge, as it should be known. We're going to go through a tunnel. We're going to tunnel it, folks. I know. Joe doesn't like a tunnel. Well, there's a lot to be said for that, isn't there, really? We're going to just go up at a steady incline. I mean, this could end up looking absolutely horrendous, but it could look great. There we go. That's fantastic. So we're going to come up at the side here, and then we're going to like, um, like sharpen the incline there. There we go, look at that. So it's gonna come up there, yeah. So it's so basically this, this shallower incline is gonna give our freight trains a chance to get up to some speed leaving the station. I mean, it's never gonna be like a, an impressive amount of speed. You're never gonna be blown away with excitement at the speed. Now, I want you to go on here. We're gonna do our, uh, our famous dive under junction. Keep you there. That's awful. Why is that awful? Ah, it's because you need to you need to zigzag. You're not zigzagging, Joe. Zigzag, and then it'll be fine. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Sort of. Ignore that bit, it's fine. Right. You need to then go down. And across. But we could leave that like that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Because then, we could level off. 
Ooh, no, don't be silly. Right. There we go. Flat. Go flat. A 180 powering pass there. Right, hang on. Yeah, that's not working. We could spend quite a while just rebuilding this exact junction. I warn you now, this could be the whole episode. Just Joe destroys and builds a junction a few times over. That'll do. But when we're underground, we're going to get rid of that bit. There we go. Build you straight out. There we go. Brilliant stuff. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, dearie me. That is not fantastic. There's a hole in the world. Oh, crikey Moses. That is not what we like. Right, well, uh, yeah. Version uh, 10.7 or whatever the... Uh, what, what version are we on now with this tunnel? That's better. That's better. Yeah, no world holds in sight. I'm happy with that. What are you looking like? You're, uh, yeah, there's, there's a minor world hole there, but I think that might be a feature of the tunnel. Uh, yeah, there appears to be a world hole there. Oh, I wish I hadn't have seen that. Oh, 150. Hello. I love the little 150s nipping about on this. I think they look brilliant. I can hear a 180. There we go. So you're going to go up there. And we'll keep you on that line. Ah, look at that. Brilliant. What do you look like? I think you could look brilliant. I mean, you could look awful. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. I'm telling you, it's fine. There's no need to look at that any closer than we already are. Uh, there we go. Signal there. Lovely. Oh, yeah, very nice. We'll have a signal on the start of the tunnel as well. Couple that. Yeah, beautiful stuff. I mean, I don't think this is going to be a particularly frequent service down to here. Where are our coal trucks? Are they... Uh, oh, yeah, they had to go up here, didn't they? Oh, we've got coal. We've got 38 coal. Truck 1, 38 coal. Truck 2... Oh, they're leaving not very full now. That's sad. Full space themselves out, won't they? Look at him. He's absolutely whizzing away. That Scanny has not taken any not taken any messing at all, is he? He's got his uh, he's got his foot down. Right, so that's going to store some uh, some coal anyway. So before we set our train running, we need somewhere for uh, for you know we need a delivery, which means we need more vans. Uh, hang on, right. So we've got fuel that needs to be delivered down here. What truck stops have we got available? So we've got uh, that one there, which delivers around there. And that one there. Right, is there any fuel that's needed down here? Uh, no, why can't I see where the... Go oh, yeah, there's a lot of fuel needed down here. Right, okay. Well, you're delivering to that part of town. You're delivering to that part of town. So we, we need a, a truck stop here at the bottom part of society. Like, not that this is a, a crappy part of society. It's just the bottom of the town, isn't it? There we go. And uh, we'll have a van... If we can just uh, if we can just configure that, please. There we go. Oh, what's that? Tanker cargo platform. You're not gonna. Oh, hang on. Fuel, fuel. Get rid of that, right? Tanker. Ah, oh, fantastic. No idea where I got that mob from. I didn't even know I had it. But uh, ooh, clever. Fancy Porsche. Right. Well, there we go. We're gonna have to use that. So uh, no vans on this one. Why have I got two lines? Delete line one. Don't need it. Do not need it. Line two. Uh, you will be uh, Pensto by C. Oh, did I, do? I just called them Pensto, didn't I? Distribution three. Now, let's... Uh, Let's go and see what what was happening there. So, so this was mainly fuel. Do you, as a truck stop, get everywhere that needs fuel? No, you don't, but you majoritively do. So that's fine. Right, where's your truck depot? Let's have a let's have. Have we got shell? Ooh, shell.
It can fit 52 on. I reckon that that is fine. But what we're going to do, so that you're not just going round and round all the time. Oh, that Scania looks so good in the shell livery. Yeah, we're going to keep using the Scania because it looks brilliant. Uh, on the route there, Penstow, we're going to just have you to sit and load. Just sit and load at Penstow by seat because you can only carry fuel anyway, can't you? Full load, all um, maximum wait time, all of eternity. Because we don't want to be losing any fuel, so we'll have two shell trucks. And they'll just follow each other round. Ooh, what's that? 58. Hello! Lovely. Right, so. We need to... Uh, oh, it's just having a think, zooming out this far. Where's the nearest depot? Flipping, I can't even thought about it, connecting a depot. Right, Temple. We're going to fly all the way over from Temple to Penstow by Sea. Goods delivery place. Walkie. Doohickey. There we go. Number one, please. And you will be Pensto. Uh, fuel train. Because it's delivering fuel. I mean, it could actually technically drop off fuel on route. Not there. Not there. You need fuel in Fairpont. You don't need fuel here. Why do they not need fuel at any of these places? Okay, you can't drop off on route. Tamath will probably just tanker you there. Uh, I mean, you've got your own fuel place. You need to just settle down. Right, so that's the line. Uh, right, hang on. Where's the depot? Depot? No. Depot? If we just keep saying depot while we're looking around, we'll, we'll eventually find one. Depot? Uh, who's, hey, I, well, that calls for a new one. Uh, well, it calls for a new one, but where? Depot. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, where's the nearest, the nearest depot? It's like all the way up here, isn't it? Uh, and facing the wrong way. Oh, I love that. Oh, and it's nearly full as well. I love how it's... Uh, yeah, I love how you all got so upset about the 166. It really excites me. You know, it makes me pleased. That I've upset lots of people. I should be really trying to please people, shouldn't I? But uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm one of those people that really does find happiness in other people's misery. Uh, right. Okay. Well, enough of that. Because you'll find your subscriber count absolutely plummeting. Uh, we could have a depot here. Strange place for a depot. In the middle of absolutely nowhere. But because of our new freight terminal, that could work. Right. Let's have a bit of 50. Bit of 15. Look at that. My good friend Dave, who taught me Airport CEO, hates how I make everything so slow. But what I'd like to think is that I made it realistic. You don't get trains flying into a depot at 90 miles an hour, do you? You just don't. You don't see that happening. <coughs> Flipping heck. Sorry. There we go. Right. So what are we having? Freight trains. Uh, yep. Yeah. Diesel. I think we need to use this 60 again, because we've used the 67, we've used the 66 a lot. Let's use the 60, what have they, oh, we've got EWS, Tees Steel, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, that looks a bit Great Western-y. Uh, what about Load Hall, we've used Load Hall. What about Rail Freight? Uh, Robert Adams, Steadfast, Ingleborough. Now, there's different sectors here, that means coal. Oh, no, I, I don't know what the the different rail freight sectors are so we can't use them because if i use a coal one that's pulling fuel then you'll all lose your minds um yeah do you know what let's have an ews one because that's safe we've used load hall already and uh you know i, I wouldn't want you to i can't use the t's steel express because that's steel uh we've used him already and and that's just the safest bet i don't want to end up you know, with people stood outside my house with, you know, forks and flames and torches and pitchforks. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, right, okay. Let's have a tanker wagon. Tanker car. That seems uh, fairly safe. Uh, oh, hang on. Have we got one that says Shell on it? TEA, unbranded. There we go. Uh, shell slash BP. There we go. We'll have one, two, three, four. Five. Let's just have the full 340 meters. 
340 capacity. That'll do. Oh, sod it. Let's have two of you. So we're going to go on the Penstoke fuel train. Now we might need to make this stop off to fill all that, all those wagons. Look at that. Look how good it looks. Oh, it suits the EWS livery. I'm happy we picked this. This was a good pick. Joe is happy. EW and S, not just EWS. Shell and BP. Because, they're, you know, they're friends. They're really good friends. They get on so well. I hope there's no passenger train coming. I didn't, uh, I didn't look before I just sent the freight. Heck. Oh, I like that bridge. I can't remember putting that in. Oh, look at him go. That's fantastic. Charles Francis Bush. Now, what we could do is we could put some stops in, but we're not stopping there. You've got your own fuel place. You can go sailing through on your freight train. Uh, yeah. Where else can we stop? We can't stop there. Pensto. Oh, there's uh, there's nowhere else to stop that wants fuel. Fairpont. Fairpont wanted fuel. Where are we going to stop you, though? I don't know where we can put you. I mean, we could go down to the... No, because Fairpont Fuel's going to have to come from there, isn't it? It absolutely is. There's no ifs or buts. Heck, there's... Uh, yeah, this is not going very quick. Quite a slow one. Perhaps we didn't need quite so many wagons. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... Yeah, perhaps we don't need 18 of them. Perhaps we could maybe get a... Oh, we've got 17. Sorry, I can't count. Uh, yeah, perhaps we could get rid of... Five. Get rid of five. There we go. Edit that. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. 240 is a much more realistic capacity. Oh, I'm enjoying that. That's a nice screenshot. That is a lovely screenshot indeed. Look at that, and he's just pottering along. He's happy, isn't he? Look at that. It, uh, just brilliant. And I reckon if you were a train spotter, you could get some brilliant shots of like a 60 coming up here with a 180 flying along the top. Oh, I like the little uh, the tail lamp on the end. It's a nice touch. That's good. We like that a lot. Right, coal trucks, where are you? Oh, you've got 54 stored. Oh, you take two coals to make one fuel. Of course you do. Of course you do. These uh, these coal trucks could really do with spacing themselves out a bit more. Tell you what we'll do. We'll get them to fully load at Temple side. So there we go. Uh, fully load. No maximum stop time. There we go. So that you can be more efficient. Oh, we could get a nice shot here, couldn't we, uh, of something. I mean, what day is it? 2004? I've not paused time, I've not we're at quarter speed. Because, I mean, now we're getting to modern day, we don't want to rush things, do we? Oh, Grand Central. Oh, look at that! You don't let him bully you, little 150. You keep chugging along at whatever speed you're happy with. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, that's a nice screenshot. I'm not going to... Oh, it's even nicer with the Scania in. Oh, I think it's all kind of falling apart now. This is why they don't space out. Oh, and the truck as well. That would be a really nice screenshot. But uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, I could use it as the thumbnail for this video. But we've not actually done anything to do with these trains other than slightly altered that, that bit of track there and put a junction in. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of feel... Given this has been a fuely type episode, uh, that using passenger trains as a thumbnail would be a bit uh, misleading. We'll go with misleading. Well, there we go. We're going to just keep on this train for a little ride. Uh, you know, for the title or the end credits. Sorry. Uh, let's. Can we? Can we even pop inside? You used to be able to pop inside. Uh, where are you? There we go. Pop inside, uh, and we'll move back. How do you move up and down? I've complete. Oh, there we go. Move down. Ah, look at this. Since when did regional railways have displays inside? Whoop, there we go. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. That is where we are going to leave it for today. I really do hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you have, then please do click that like button and show your appreciation. I think there's a train going the other way there. Uh, yeah, show your appreciation for the video. It is, uh, you know, I, I absolutely love it. I love doing this, and, uh, you know, when you guys all click that like button and it helps it, you know, do well, then, uh, yeah, it, it makes it all worthwhile for me. You know, I like seeing happy people watching my videos. And, uh, of course, if you haven't already, if you are enjoying Piddlemouth Coast, then please do subscribe. Look at that city over there. What's that? What's that city? I have no idea what that city is, but it looks impressive from the, uh, the window of our train. Yeah, if you have enjoyed the video as well and you want to see more, make sure if you haven't already, do subscribe. Lots to do on Piddlemouth Coast. And, uh, of course, when I have finished this map, I will put it all on the Steam Workshop for you, because a few people have asked that. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, before we go, I need to find out what this city is. Oh, we've done lots of more darts. Oh, it's Abel Hannafin. Wow, you look suitably disappointed from over here, but from over here, you know, from over here. Uh, no, you look, you look kind of like a big city from here. But then when you get over here, it's massive. Look at that. It's this big building. This big residential building. 24 people live there. Flip it, neck. Flip it, neck. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.